Hello everybody, this is part 2 of exponential random variables. In this video we are going to do examples. Example 1. If we know that a shop is visited by customers in minutes is an exponential random variable x with parameter lambda equals to 0.2, then find the expectation of x, find the variance of x, What's the probability that a customer enters in less than 5 minutes? What's the probability that a customer enters in greater than 8 minutes? And the probability of a customer enters in between 5 and 8 minutes? Let's start with part A. In part A, we're going to find the expectation. We have derived in part 1 of the video series that expectation of x of random variable was 1 over lambda. So our lambda parameter is 0 0.2 so 1 over 0 0.2 you can express 0 0.2 as 2 over 10 which is 10 over 2 and 5. So we know that expectation of x is 5. So average customer enters in is 5. Now let's find the variance. Again we derived the variance in part 1. We knew it, it was 1 over lambda squared. So it would be 1 over 2 over 10 squared. So it would be 100 over 4. So it would be 25. So that's the variance of x. Now let's go to C. Here we're going to find the probability of a customer enters in less than 5 minutes. So we can solve this question using probability of capital X is less than or equal to X formula. And According to cumulative distribution function that we have derived in part 1, it was 1 minus e to the negative lambda x. So here our x is 5 because we're, we're finding the probability that x is less than or equal to 5 minutes. And our lambda parameter is 0 0.2. So if you plug in x and lambda we can find the probability that x is less than or equal to 5. So probability that x is less than or equal to 5 is equal to 1 minus e to the negative 0 0.2 times 5. So if you plug everything in your calculator you're going to find 0. 0 0.63212 and that would be approximately 63.2% okay now let's calculate the probability that a customer enters greater than 8 minutes which is going to be probability that x is greater than or equal to 8 for this, we're going to use the complement property. So this is equal to 1 minus probability of x is less than or equal to x. So that's the complement of x is greater than or equal to x. So we knew this. This was 1 minus e to the negative lambda x from the previous section. And we have 1 minus here. If we distribute negative sign, 1 cancels 1 and negative times negative is positive. So we find e to the negative lambda x. So this is the function we're going to plug in the values. If we plug in our lambda and x in here, we're going to obtain e to the negative 0 0.2 times 8. We're going to obtain 0 0.20. One eight nine. So that would be approximately twenty point two percent. 
Okay, now let's calculate the probability that x is between 5 and 8. Let me illustrate this on the number line. So this is our 5, this is our 8. So this red zone is the probability that x is less than or equal to 5 which we already found 0 0.63212 and this zone is the probability that x is greater than or equal to 8 which we already found 0 0.2189 and this green zone is the probability that we are interested in finding and the whole probability is 1 so 1 minus this red zone will give me the green zone. So we can use probability that x is between 5 and 8 is equal to 1 minus the probability of x is less than or equal to 5 plus probability that x is greater than or equal to 8. So this is going to be basic arithmetic so if you plug in everything in your calculator you're going to obtain 0 0.16599 which is approximately 16.6 percent so this is how we calculate expectation, variance, anything probability that x is less than or equal to x, we're going to use this cumulative distribution function. Anything x is greater than or equal to, we're going to, we can use the complement or we can use the integration here as well. Like it's going to be the integral of from a to infinity of the probability density function which is lambda e to the negative lambda x dx it is going to be like this we have some function here we have some a value here and we're interested in finding the area under a to the infinity so if you integrate this you're going to obtain this function e to the negative lambda x and you can use this e to the negative lambda x for probability of x is greater than any constant value a knowing the parameter lambda and little x okay let's do example two on the other video